What's up, Niner fans? This is Aaron Wilson for Inside the 49. On today's episode of 49ers Film Room, we're going to be breaking down one of the most important plays from the 49ers 9-0 win over the Washington Redskins, Richie James' 40-yard catch and run from Jimmy Garoppolo. Roll the tape. All right, set up. Down in distance. It's third and three from the 49ers 30-yard line. Time on the clock, 8.43 left in the third quarter. There's no score on the board. The 49ers are in a shotgun formation with 11 personnel. They initially line up with both running back Tevin Coleman and Kendrick Bourne in the backfield. The double motion first by Coleman and then by Bourne widens out the defense, specifically the outside corners. If you stop it right there, we see that the corners are playing really, really wide because they're worried about Coleman on the short side of the field and Bourne on the wide side of the field. The two outside receivers, Coleman and Bourne, are going to run go routes to take their corners out of the play. Pettis runs an out route right at the sticks and then cuts it back towards the middle of the field. Kittle runs a quick stop route and then after he doesn't get the ball, he releases to the middle of the field. James runs a stick nod, running the route in front of the safety who's in the middle of the field. He comes up, quick fake, and then he comes up to the middle of the field. It's a really nice route by James and creates a lot of separation between him and his defender. Let's check it out. One step, then to the middle of the field. Run it back. They call it a stick nod because he's just taking his head and he's looking to the left to draw the defender, the linebacker. One step, and then comes to the middle of the field. Here's James. I also want you to look at number 55, John Bostick. Check out how he reads James going to the flat, and then James cuts it back to the middle of the field. One step. And where's Bostic gonna go? He's gonna go towards the flat. And where's James gonna go? The opposite direction. As soon as that happens, check out this hole. Look at all that space for him to complete the pass. Now the other reason there's so much space there is because of what's happening on the other side of the field with Kittle. Let's check him out. So Kittle runs a quick stop route and watch the defenders, specifically Landon Collins, the safety and the other linebacker, Sean Dillon Hamilton. As soon as Kittle runs that stop, both of those players run directly towards him. There. Garoppolo isn't even looking in Kittle's direction, but yet both defenders are driving towards him. And that opens up a big hole in the middle of the field for James to work. James also does a great job of running that route in front of the single high safety. If he runs it any deeper, he's not going to be able to complete the pass. All right, let's look at it from the other side. Let's check out Jimmy's head right now. His first look is definitely Kittle to the right. He's not open, he's getting double covered. So then he looks to the left. Now the question is, is he looking at Pettis, who's running the out and then back towards the middle of the field? Or is he just looking off the defender? I'm not 100% sure, but whatever he does, it works. He looks to the left a little bit longer to draw that defender. And by that time, the defender runs way far out of the play and James is wide open. James does a great job of sitting down in front of the safety. And then he picks up about 30 yards after the catch. This long catch and run by James would lead to Robbie Gold's first field goal of the day, which broke the score and gave the 49ers a 78.6 win probability. The 49ers defense showed up in a big way, holding the Redskins to only 154 total yards on offense, and the 49ers added three sacks and one fumble recovery. The 49ers are one of only two teams that are still undefeated after Week 7. Now it's back home to Levi's to take on the Carolina Panthers in a quest to go 7-0. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be doing weekly breakdowns during the season, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more. If there's a specific play you want us to break down, put it in the comment section below. Thanks again and go Niners!